So today I have the what's in my bag video for fall 2016. It's been a hot minute since I've sat down and filmed a video, let alone a what's in my purse video, so I thought I'd go ahead and film that. So this is my new purse. I recently got this at Kate Spade. I'm not sure if it's online. I was actually looking for one online to order somebody, and I did not see this exact purse online. I know they have similar styles, um, but not the same one. So this is the Kate Spade. I don't know the name of this one. I'll try to find the tag and let you guys know the exact gorgeous. It's this gorgeous little like blush colored bag. Super gorgeous. I added this little like swan. It was a part of the swan slash like ballerina line over this recent month. So it's really pretty. I got this poof. And then um, on the back is what's where I usually, I don't usually carry it this way. I usually carry it the other way, which looks like this. And it has my initials on it, which is Jenna Nicole and then my last name, which is really pretty. So I really enjoyed this bag. It's been a great bag. I actually got this on Friday. So I've not had it for too long, but I really do like it. It's one of my new favorites. So the reason I went out and bought a new purse is because I've sold all my other brand branded purses. I have like two Kate Spades left, which I love to death, but they're too small for what I need them. I didn't invest in a nicer one. This was only $1.98 on sale. And then my, the person gave me an additional 15% off. So when, when it looks closed up, it looks like this. So it just kind of has a, a closed top and everything fits inside it, which is really nice. It does have the optional shoulder strap, which in my case can become a strap, crossbody strap if you want it to be a crossbody. The only issue with that is, is these handles don't fold down so they stay up which is fine for me. I usually do wear it crossbody. Um, and then you can take off the you can take it off if you like, so you don't have to keep that on there. So we're gonna start off with the beginning. This is the front pocket. You do have a hidden front pocket, which is one of the big things that got me to buy this purse was the front pocket. I'm usually not a front pocket kind of person, but I do want I wanted one because of half the time when I'm going in and out of classes. I need to find my earbuds or stuff like that. So the first thing I keep in here, speak of the devil, is my earbuds. These are the Beats um, wireless earbuds. I want to get the ones that actually fit in the ear. This is really, I guys, I want the ones over the ear because the fact that I have such small ears. Like you guys can see, they're just really small. So I can't, usually earbuds do not stick inside of my ear. So what I like about these is they fold over. The only issue with this is when I, when I wear sunglasses, they usually are in a headband or if I just wear certain sunglasses, these won't fit over with the sunglasses. So that's the only annoying thing. Um, but I do like them a lot. They work really well. I've had them for, I got them during my birthday. So I really do like them. And I'm always charging them. So yeah, that's what's in there. And then usually I throw my phone in there, but I'm using my phone currently. And this is what it looks like. This is the eye. Oh, wow. Dirty. Plus, I did get the 7. I love it to death. Um, it has the double camera, as you guys can see. This is a life proof case. Um, I got it on the pre-order date. So they're no longer on sale right now. You can't get a life proof right now because I think they're sold out. But you can get on the wait list. So get on the wait list if you can. I know the iPhones are new, now water resistant to a certain extent. But I still don't trust it. So I always have a waterproof case on it. So life proof is the way to go. And then back here I have my <laughs> UNA little like sticky wallet. And then I have my student ID, my debit card, and my driver's license. Just thought I'd share that with you. It's because of my... Erin Condren Planner. This this little case um, was custom made by the brand, I have a little card in here, by Woodland Cottage Farm. And find the exact place where you can get them. But they make any design you want, any fabric, which is really nice. And they just look great. I store everything in here. So you put your cover in the front and then this is what it looks like. So I have my, this is for Thanksgiving, but this has been like what my week looks like usually. This was last week that I did not finish filling out, so it kind of looks like that. But I love this thing. Um, I always keep my planner with me because I'm always looking for, always forgetting stuff. Because I have the mind of an 80 year old sometimes. So I swear to you guys, I will forget inside what's inside of it. Rings keep trying to fall off. First thing is this YSL lipstick, the vinyl lipstick, I think it's called. Vinyl cream in the shade 409, which is a really deep, dark, vampy shade, kind of reddish. Next is this one by, this was from the, I don't remember what line this was, but it's in the shade Eugene. Um, whatever brand this was, it's, a, it's purple and it had like all the different color lipsticks, but this is a dark, kind of like rubble, but a little darker brown. I love this shade though. I wore this last Sunday to church and it was really dark. Next is Bare Minerals Mini in the shade Swag Matte. And I love this. It's ab it's their new um, Bare Minerals like gel liquid lipstick kind of creams. Really cool. I like that shade a lot. Um, Mission El Mirror. It's really scratched up slowly. I need to put the case back on it. But I swear by this thing it's amazing. I have tampons. I have uh, another lipstick which I want to take this one out. This one's in. I don't like this shade. We're not going to talk about it. Next is the Stila Liquid Lipstick, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina, which I really like. Um, 
the Victoria's Secret Scandal Edu Perfume. I have some floss sticks because you never know when you're going to be in an emergency or when your friend's going to be in an emergency and you're like, you have a spinach in the middle of your teeth. Or in my case, you have chocolate in the middle of your teeth. I have a pencil, mechanical pencil. Um, my Guerlain Super Lips Lip Hero Lip... I feel like a lip balm that's tinted my lip things just died. I have another lipstick. I have too many lipsticks. I have my contacts, um, an extra pair of contacts, pens, my inhaler, um, and then bad bowl, which I need to refill. And then um, I also have my little tissues. Next thing is my wallet. This is my wallet. It's my student, like, kind of like wallet ID thing. Um, I have my little University of North Alabama banner, my room key to my dorm, um, my mace. And a Swiss Army knife because, I mean, you never know when you have to file your nails. And so, this is my little wallet. It has my driver's license, my expired driver's license on the back. I have my new driver's license in here, but they're the same picture. So, I just keep... Long story about... That's that. Then I have... What else do I have in here? What else? I have some Trident White Gum. I don't really like this stuff, actually. It's minty bubble. I don't really like the flavor of it, to be honest. I have um, a receipt to Sam's that I went to earlier. I gotta give that to my mom. That's actually her stuff. Um, I have my sunglasses, which need to be in the front front pocket, actually. So I'm gonna put that in the front pocket. And then I have, last but not least, are three other things. The first thing being my vanilla bean Noel hand sanitizer. Love to death. My Kylie Jenner lip kit in the shade Love Bite, which I was wearing yesterday, which I love to death. That's the new uh, fall shades. And I have a cookie from church. <laughs> So that's everything. Oh, and one last thing, which I thought I'd share with you guys. It's in this. I always kind of keep it hidden because I don't need it day to day. I need it just like, I hardly ever need it. But it's my keys to my car. And the reason I don't need it is because my car has keyless entry. Um, but I do drive a Nissan Sentra. I love her to death. Sarah the Sentra is the best car ever. If you ever want a Sentra, great car. Um, but it's my second car. I didn't crash my first car. Don't worry. My first car actually sold to get Sarah the Sentra. Um, but I do love my new car. And so, anyway, this is the Michael Kors Key Clay. It looks like the Louis Vuitton one. If you're ever interested in, like, the Louis Vuitton one, but you don't want the price tag, I got this one at TJ Maxx for, like, $20. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. And bye, everyone.